Well, it looks like Vine has now done enough to sew up the race because they're over the top of the King of the Mountains point. It flattens off, but the group trying to return. So in this front group of three riders, they're going to have to keep pushing on or get caught. Yates doesn't want to have to lead out on that little downhill dip into the finish. Vine in prime position. Ben O'Connor, he's at his limit. Simon Yates, he'd at least love to go out with a stage think, win. Uh, One kilometre to go. We've got the dip at about 500 metres. It's really downhill to the light. If they've got the gear on that bike, Yates could take this win, the sprint, but he won't win the race, I don't think. We'll see. He needs... If he wins, he needs about 10 seconds extra gap. They are in huge danger of getting swamped by that group that is still on the chase. They opened up a gap of about 10 seconds over them. He's gone again. Gates sees it. He needs to go. Now, that's a climber for you to kick again on the climb when you're setting the pace. There's the little ridge at the top. Once you're over that ridge, you race downhill to the finishing line. Simon Yates has done all he can do. I think they'll hold the pack off now. But uh, keep your eyes on the man in Oka. He's going to celebrate the biggest moment of his life as O'Connor goes now. It was just a little bit of a fake one, that one, because he was immediately followed by Vine. Opportunity now for Yates. We spent a lot of energy. Vine's just been following the wheels. But Yates, he needs to line them up. He got we'll it go a bit again. wrong the other day to run into the slipstream and get it. Did he learn the lessons? Because he's in the box seat behind Vine now. And well, they've got O'Connor leading out. When they came off the course, too, is a three-man sprint. Exchange O'Connor for Bilbao, and these were the three that came to the line then. Now it's a big chance for O'Connor, too, as he ruins his season. Vine makes the charge for the line, and victory in the Santos Tour down under. Yates follows him home. It's fitting. First and second over the line. Or oh, have I got it the wrong way round? Because it could be. Yates gets the win and will finish second in the Santos Tour Down Under. Hats off to Jay Vine, who wins the race at the first attempt. Well, what a finale. Simon Yates did everything asked of him. He just was not able to get rid, rid of Jay Vine. He defended so well. But then again, Simon Yates, he learned the lessons from a few days ago, the sprint into Campbelltown, where he lost to Peel Bilbao. He picks up the stage win. That is definitely a consolation uh, finishing second overall in the Santos Tour Down Under but we have a new Australian hero of this stage race Jay Vine for the UAE team hasn't won a stage mm. but he has certainly dominated this race